Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner with over 13 years nursing experience, working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm perinatal mental health certified and maternal newborn nursing certified. After giving birth, it is so common for a woman to start to lose her hair. Today we will be talking about everything you need to know about postpartum hair loss and how to treat it. So click those like and subscribe buttons and stay with us. Most women want to know, is this common that I'm losing my hair or is there something really wrong? So up to 90% of women after they give birth will lose their hair. It usually starts around three months after giving birth and it can last for approximately six months from that point. So usually by the time your baby is a year old, your hair loss has stopped. And this hair loss is not permanent, it's just temporary. So there are three stages related to your hair growth cycle. The antigen stage, which is the active growth, which is two to six years of time. This is where 85 to 90% of your hair is in any given day. The catagen stage is the transition stage. This is where the follicles start to shrink in preparation for the final stage, which is the teratogen stage, which is where they actually start to rest and then fall out. This final stage takes about three months, which is why after you give birth, your hair loss doesn't start until about three months postpartum. The cause of postpartum hair loss has to do with your estrogen. Estrogen rises during your third trimester, and this actually helps your hair become fuller and thicker. But as soon as you give birth, it just drops. And this causes the hair to enter that third stage which then falls out three months later. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can get our latest content. So you'll know that you're losing your hair. It will be quite obvious because you're gonna to start to see hair everywhere. You're gonna have loose hair on your pillow, in your shower, on your clothes, in your brush. Unfortunately, you can't really prevent this from happening. And so you just need to be aware so you can start to use some of the tricks that we have to help treat it. One thing you do need to be aware about with this loose hair has to do with the safety of your baby. So what has happened for a lot of women is sometimes they will lose a piece of hair and it will get curled around a baby's finger or toe. So once you start to notice this postpartum hair loss, make sure you're giving a good look at your baby every single day to make sure this has not happened. If left untreated, it can actually cut off the circulation for your baby's finger or toe, requiring medical intervention. So, how does this get diagnosed? You tell your healthcare provider. Your diagnosis is based off of your reports and your observations to your doctor. But why even bother to tell them? Well, your doctor may want to rule out some medical causes of your postpartum hair loss, like a thyroid issue or anemia. When styling your hair, there are some things you should know. First, you want to avoid heat because excessive heat can cause your hair to break. Curl and blow dry your hair can make your hair actually look thinner, so you want to minimize this as much as possible. Brush your hair gently and use wide tooth combs. If you're going to use hair accessories, try headbands and scarves and bandanas because they can help. And you want to choose hairstyles that might be new and might mask some of your hair loss, like trying a different part in your hair. And finally, you want to avoid tight styles like braids and ponytails. So what are some things you can use to help with your postpartum hair loss? Start with volumizing shampoo to build up the volume that you do have. If you are going to use conditioner, you need to use conditioner for fine hair. All the other moisturizing conditioners can weigh your hair down. Make sure that you're taking a good prenatal vitamin or a vitamin designed for your hair, skin, and nails. And you also wanna make sure that you're taking iron because iron deficiency can increase your hair loss. And finally, make sure you're eating a very good whole foods diet. 
Some things that you may want to avoid include conditioning shampoo. This is because it will weigh your hair down. Additionally, intensive conditioners may also add weight to your hair, which will make it look thinner. And finally, hair dyes and straightening treatments, they can cause your hair to break, which would add to the thin look. I hope this video has helped you learn everything you need to know about your postpartum hair loss and how to treat it. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can get our latest content in pregnancy, labor, and early childhood parenting. Share this video with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.